All right, guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X and the Poco F3. Today, we're going to do something interesting. We're going to install CR Droid 8.5 on this particular device, and then I'm going to use it as a daily driver, at least for a day or two, because 11X is something that I'm using personally as my phone. Now, before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you've not already, please also participate in our giveaway because every week we are giving away one of our premium cases to a lucky winner. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So, what are we installing? CR Droid. So, first let's see what we have in store for us. For which we will of course go to telegrams and here we have CR Droid. Right now, this is again the latest official update of CR Droid. This is a vanilla build. TWRP by SS SKK is recommended. Basic G apps recommended. Minimum firmware 12.5.3 recommended. And look at the change blog here. Okay, it should be loading with all the information. Right, so updated CR Droid 8.5 code, security patch to the latest, kernel upstream, import pixel like wallpapers, color support in theme picker, synced with latest sources, updated translations, and some other fixes. Now, this is something that I wanted to try for a long time. I'm going to install the same ROM on the Poco X3 Pro as well. So you'll have an install video coming for that device too. But there are a bunch of things that you need to take care of whenever you flash your phone, right? You need to first make sure your phone has more than 50% battery. You need to make sure that all the data on your phone is backed up because we'll be wiping everything. You need to have, of course, an unlock bootloader along with a custom recovery by TWRP. That is the SKK TWRP in this case, right? Once you've taken care of all of those, Remember, you need to first remove your MI account, if you're an MI UI, your Google account, your face unlock, fingerprint unlock, screen lock, everything. Reboot your device once and once you're done, you're good to go. Now, in my case, I always keep my uh, data, the ROMs and everything on an OTG pen drive so that I don't have any issues while flashing. Now, once you've taken care of all of these, you can simply reboot to TWRP. Now, in order to do that, if you're an MI UI, you'll have to press and hold volume up and power and keep in press till the time you see the MI logo, right? And then you can release the buttons once you see the MI logo. So we'll go to advanced because we are on a custom ROM and we will go to recovery directly. Now, I know followers who've been with this channel for a long time already know how to flash and stuff, but it doesn't make any sense to make a preview video of a ROM without showing you how to install it. So that's what we're going to do in this video. All right, so as you can see, we booted into TWRP. We'll go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data. Now, I am wiping internal storage because as I said, my files are on the OTG pen drive. If your files are on the internal storage, don't wipe this. So swipe to wipe. Okay, now go to install. I've selected the OTG pen drive. So the first thing that we will flash is the latest firmware MIUI 13 one. And we will select add more zips and select Elliot CR Droid 8.5. And then we will select the Open G apps or Flame G apps. Basic. Swipe to confirm flash. Now remember, we are flashing three files over here the firmware, the ROM and then G apps because this is the vanilla build that we are talking about. So it'll take about 45 seconds to a couple of minutes to flash. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been flashed successfully. So we'll go to the main screen. We'll, we'll go to wipe, format data and type in yes. Okay, now reboot system. So, so we've installed the firmware, we've installed the ROM and we've installed G apps. All the links are mentioned in the description. You can use different G apps and different firmware as long as it is compatible with this particular ROM. Now the first boot will take anywhere between 45 seconds to a minute. So please be patient. As you can see, we already have the boot logo and I'll skip the setup part and show you around the ROM. All right, so just like that, we've booted to the home screen and this looks exciting. This looks great, right? Because we have a lot of custom icon pack stuff going on over here. Just see how light this ROM is. I do feel that it'll be very, very interesting to use this as a daily driver. I will try to install ANX camera on this one as well. 
we already have Google feed to the left. And if you swipe from the top to bottom, you do have this dark theme going on. A very, very standard, uh, you know, Android 12 stuff going on here. If you go to the edit menu, you will see that you do have a ton of customization over here including FPS info and stuff. So it's going to be really, really interesting. Now let's quickly go to settings over here. Let's go to Pout and let's go to the Android version. As you can see, May security patch, C Android version 8.5. So that is great. And the kernel here is Infini, Infini R Elliot kernel. So it'll be interesting to see how this particular kernel behaves. And uh, if we actually go to battery, I don't see the option of thermal profiles. Let's say go to apps. You know, we have the game dashboard available over here. And if you further go to display, you will notice that you have a ton of options over here. So let's go ahead and set the peak refresh rate to 120, set the minimum to 120 and uh, yeah, smooth display and all those options. So let's see, there is something that I'm looking for. There is CR Droid settings, right? Now this is customization haven. I will definitely cover this if I review this ROM completely. Let me know in the comments section if you want me to make a complete review on CR Droid, but just look at the amount of customization this particular ROM has. It's just splendid and so far it's working brilliantly fine, no problem whatsoever. So there you have it guys. This was a quick step-by-step -step install guide of CR Droid Android 8.5 for the Mi 11X. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.